vlog channel. It has been like 40 hours of travel. I put these braids in two days ago, what? Back in Toronto and let's undo them and see if I have mermaid waves today for my day in New Zealand. I have traveled very far. Also, I have to pop a nail on. I'm a bit of a mess. I don't really like my hair in these crimps, but good enough for today. So my mom and I are having a mother-daughter trip and we flew all the way to Auckland, which is kind of crazy. It took three flights, first to Vancouver. We had quite a long layover, so we spent the day walking around the waterfront. As you can see in these few clips, there's none of me because as much as I'd like to say I travel in style, I only do when I'm at the location, otherwise, comfy all the way. Hello Kitty Cafe! Oh, wow, this is big! Oh, this is so cool. Oh yeah, I want to see this. <laughs> it is very pink. Oh my god, are they? So cute. Vancouver feels like a perfect place on a sunny day. There's a strong Asian influence here with adorable Japanese, Chinese, and Korean shops that I'm so obsessed with. We walked a lot to kill time and got some freshly squeezed lemonade. Vancouver pit stop. Chocolate is everything. Oh my god, look at all the types to try. I'm gonna get some when I'm actually in New Zealand because it's my favorite chocolate. I think me and my mom will try a bunch. <laughs> this is my dream. And hello, Auckland, New Zealand. This is Queen Street, and Fable Auckland is the hotel we chose. kind of fall tones, but let's go check out the area where our hotel's at. Okay, I don't hate it now that it's brushed out, and I'll show you the hotel. I'll give you a little tour because when I first walked in, I definitely filmed what it looked like before we messed it all up. <laughs> Got some espresso. I wanted this so bad for the Barbie club. I'll have to pick up a glass house candle. They don't have these in Canada. Oh, I like that one. I do like coffee scents. Fay earrings. So Where do cool. you look? It's just a video. <laughs> <laughs> we're currently in chemist warehouse and this place is packed we're trying to find a couple things that we didn't bring and this brand has the iconic dupes there's just so much 
starting to get tired. I've put on some comfy clothes. It started raining outside, but we were shopping around. We're trying to stay up until tonight and just go to bed at a regular time. But there are so many incredible stores. I need to do some more research, but I forgot how much I wanted a glass house candle. Definitely have to pick up some New Zealand beauty products. And we're just gonna go to Cook's, which is the restaurant attached to Fable Auckland. And it looks like it has some really good stuff, but I so did not pack the right clothes. I thought it'd be warmer. Good morning, Auckland. It's day two and me and my mom are surprisingly feeling really good. We feel like we're on the time zone. We had an 11 hour sleep, which was amazing. And yesterday we did see some of the shops, but they did close at five. So we're going back to Farmers, which was our favorite out of the department stores. And I've been looking up some New Zealand makeup brands and I think I know what lipsticks I want. Oh, and yesterday we had dinner at Cook's, which is just the restaurant here. Oh, 10 out of 10. And I'm loving this hotel. It is in an amazing spot with so many shops. It's really central, there's a beautiful square. So we're excited to check it out again and then we're taking a ferry to a nearby island. Sunday brand with Pavlova. What even is this? Whipped shower foam. <gasps> okay, I'm getting it. This store looks really cute. All PJs. It's an Australian brand. Success at the shops. I'll show you what I got so far. I am so excited about this candle. Caramel popcorn and chalk tops. I've already smelt it on camera, I feel like, but this is gonna be so heavy to bring back. This one was a must buy. Oh, I have to try this in the shower tonight. It's like, looks like whipped cream. And I got these at Life Pharmacy. How adorable is this packaging? I think I'm gonna try this pink one on right now. Was in oh, my... no. From the art gallery, not sure me and my mom know enough about art, but it was nice to walk through. And I got this pretty thank you card that I'm making for Natalie. I haven't really explained part of the reason I'm here on this trip, but Natalie Rose Bridal is a beautiful little bridal shop that I'm headed to in Parnell. And that is not tomorrow, but the next day. And I'm gonna be trying on a bunch of wedding dresses, but for now, we're gonna go to the ferry. Wahiki. saying that right but it is stunning kind of reminds me of La Jolla Cove there's tons of seashells that we're walking all over it's so beautiful and I can't believe this is winter like it's not super hot or anything but it's so comfortable and we're just finding pretty seashells Reminding me of the Boya Cove. We're 
walk into the shops. Let's see. Oh my. Oh, I like that sweater. Come here, puppy. <laughs> Here's our current view. We're using an old school map to get to the winery. And my mom is doing good. Just a little bit better than Jackie, that's all. <laughs> wow. We're trekking. We have made it on foot to Mudbrook Winery and it is beautiful. <laughs> video. Yeah, video. Okay. Cute. <laughs> Very good. We're sitting outside, having a drink and watching the sunset. What did you get? Do you remember your drink? Oh, it's some sort of red wine. Yeah. <laughs> I got some sort of porn star drink. <laughs> porn star martini. We're now inside. Now that the light's gone down by the fire. Yesterday, my mom and I had literally such a good day. We went on a ferry to Wahiki Island, collected so many seashells, and then we took a massive walk. So as you saw, we went through the quaint beach town, hiked up the beautiful countryside, and then we ended the day on Mudbrick Restaurant and Vineyard. Today, we're going to Ponzanby. Am I saying that right? I wrote it down, like how to actually say it, because for some reason I keep tripping it up. Ponz... Ponds and B. Uh, and it's apparently really cute. And then we're headed to Parnell, and that is where the bridal shop is that I'll be trying on dresses tomorrow. But we're gonna meet up with the owner, Natalie, and I can't wait. Let's go have another amazing day. I'm wearing my favorite LaRode boots. And then this little dress is from House of CB. This has little sleeves, but they are hurting my arms. So I'm just gonna wear a sweater and tuck them in for now so I don't get marks on my arms for the shoot tomorrow. But here's the look. The makeup of the day. We are at Little and Friday and we're trying out um, a quiche, which is amazing. And then this is their signature donut. Look at this. Mm. Oh my god, that's good. so good. Mm. Look at my skirt! <laughs> it's gorgeous! <laughs> so I'm in Parnell. I just headed to Natalie Rose Bridal and we're having a bit of a meeting. And then tomorrow I'm trying on tons of dresses, but we are gonna try one today. So I'm really excited and the shop is adorable. I'll have to show you tons of clips. I can't wait to try some on. <gasps> the Pink Palace! <laughs> I love it. It's stunning, eh? Yeah. It's stunning. It's like your um, TV show you watch. Like a, the, the H2O. Yes, that's quite mermaid. mermaid it is yeah. mermaid like. Look at that shimmer. It's insane, right? Wow. Is this the same designer? Yeah. Wow. They're
We are in the coolest store. That's pretty. I'm deciding on a birdie. <laughs> I was actually following the Margot Robbie Wolf of Wall Street eye makeup tutorial, which is using this palette that I did so many years ago. So I, I did watch my own tutorial. I was kind of delirious and just wanted to follow some instructions. Well, let's go try on some gorgeous wedding dresses. to a cafe next door for a bite to eat.
Looking back over the footage, I think my favorite dress was the all lace with the sleeves. It's not something that I would have picked out on my own, I don't think, but I felt really regal in it. I absolutely loved it. Thank you so much to Natalie and the videographer Layton, as well as my mom for capturing a bunch of behind the scenes stuff. Here we go. Mom is determined to get on the podium. <laughs> <laughs> Going down this path to the best Pavlova place, apparently. After trying out all the dresses, me and my mom went to a restaurant called Chibo. C-I-B-O. We had an incredible beet salad. There was goat cheese in the middle. Fish and chips, which was very New Zealand of us. This is our Pavlova, and this does not look like what I'm used to. Okay, can't wait to try it. Are you ready? I think so. Let's <laughs> dig in. Back from the shoot, I can't wait to see some of the photos. And I am wearing hair extensions. These are the Irresistible Me Clip-In Hair Extensions. And these look ratty because I've been wearing them and just like ripped them out of my hair. But they are extremely thick. So that's why my hair looks super full. Look at this beautiful necklace that I got. This is something that you could definitely wear if you're a bride. Um, it's a beautiful pearl necklace. Look at this stunning craftsmanship here. I love this. I am a big fan of kind of chunkier pearl necklaces. It gives more of a mermaid vibe. So I'm gonna put this on. Also comes in a really nice package. I've been using this wherever I go. Just make sure it stays perfect. Look at this. This is from Japan. We have the little red pearl. Look at all the beautiful details here. And I love the clasp. It's really easy to put on. I don't feel I look the best today, so this will give me a little boost wearing a pretty necklace. I wore this in a bridal mermaid hair tutorial that I did as well. Today is our last day. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I am feeling pretty sick. I always get like at least a cold when I do a big travel. Like I got sick when I went to Seoul both times. I got really sick when I came to Australia. So I was kind of expecting it, but um, instead of going to a lot of the amazing places that you guys recommended in the comments on Instagram, we are gonna keep it a bit low key today to make sure this cold doesn't get worse before we travel back. But instead, we're gonna go to the Winter Gardens, which we can walk to, and also check out the New Zealand Zoo. I bought myself a little stuffed kiwi bird, and it was so funny. When me and my mom were walking through all the wineries, we were seeing all these birds, and my mom kept being like, look, that's a kiwi bird. And I was like, no, it's not, because they had some blue on them. So we were talking to this lady, and I was like, how frequently do people in New Zealand actually see a kiwi bird? And she's like, oh, like almost never. I've never seen one, because they're nocturnal. So it'll be cool to see one in the zoo. Mushroom medley on toast. I got scrambled eggs, some sausages. Entering the greenhouse. <laughs> We've entered the fern jungle. I love koi fish. The fall leaves. I got a little video of the little fishy. We just checked out the museum. I love seeing like fossils and um, like aquatic things. <laughs> are freaky. This is the kiwi bird. I hope we actually see one at the zoo. But they're endangered. And now we're off to the zoo. I want to see the otters. My mom stole a lemon from the garden. <laughs> Swings away. Okay, get him. On the hunt to 
find a kiwi bird. Yeah, barely tell. He's hobbling around. I've never seen so many exotic animals like so close. I guess because it was winter and like it was pretty dead. They were just really chill. Like the animals wanted to come say hi. taking a like 15 minute car ride, a little Uber, and then going to see panoramic views of the city. And yesterday we went to the zoo and then later we headed to Ortolana's, which this probably isn't gonna be that interesting to anyone but me, but my husband's last name is Ortolano and his full name, Tyler Ortolano. And we went on Tyler Street and saw Ortolana's. It was cool, <laughs> it was a really good restaurant. And uh, yeah, we're just packing up. I was shooting my final little haul here, and then all of the chocolate, of course, which my mom already packed, so I can't show. The tubing one is good. And these look like the YSL bombs. Mini haul. A New Zealand ring? Yeah, this is Ruby. Look at how pretty the dress is. This before with a big cookie. Finally at the airport, I'm on my way home and I have my new little kiwi bird and we're at the Whitaker's chocolate booth here. We had such an amazing time, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more travel vlogs and also if you like to read about travel or see my hotel reviews or kind of my itinerary and what I got up to, you can check out my new website at JackieWires.Beauty. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.